have today is KOAA Day at the Colorado State Fair in Pueblo. It is $2 Tuesday and News 5 Shayla Girardin joins us at the fairgrounds getting an exclusive sneak peek of everything the fair has to offer. Yes, we are cooking up something delicious this morning, I remember. I wish you could smell this. This right here is a cowboy burrito. And I'm joined by Keith. You are the man behind this. All right, so talk me through this. What exactly is a cowboy burrito? Well, a cowboy burrito uh, is a combination of red potatoes that we saute on the skillet. Uh, we mix them with uh, bell peppers, tomatoes, butter, and seasoning. Uh, we then put those potatoes in a giant 10-inch tortilla. We put some shaved sirloin steak on top of that and then some shredded uh, cheddar jack cheese on top of that. Wow, and it takes a pretty massive skillet to make all this happen. How big is this exactly? Uh, absolutely. This skillet is 7 feet in diameter. And from what you were describing earlier, it sounds like you can have multiple people out here working at the same time to make this happen. Yes, uh, typically we, we can have up to three or four people on the skillet at the same time, and everyone has a particular job to do. Uh, this gentleman over here will be chopping potatoes, and then he'll get over here and stir fry them up and mix them up, and then we cover them and steam them for about 22 minutes. This gentleman might be making burritos, and this person over here might be cooking our steak. So much happening at the same time, and we're going to try it Try it out this morning, put put my skills to the test, and build a burrito. So walk me through this. Well, basically, you're going to take um, a little scoop of our skillet potatoes, and we kind of put them in the middle there. And then we take some shaved steak, and we put it across on top of the potatoes. And then the crowning touch, we're going to take some cheddar jack cheese because everything's just better with cheese, right? Everything's better with cheese, for sure. And then once we get that on top, we roll it up into a big burrito. And over in the distance, we're seeing a little bit of the finished product. Yes, uh, we, we have uh, a few options you can get. Uh, obviously, we have our original cowboy burritos. We also do uh, some great nachos. And uh, the nachos are topped, of course, with nacho cheese sauce. And then you can get your choice of brisket or smoked chicken topped with fresh pico de gallo. And that's our, our nachos. And then this is a variation of the cowboy burrito. We call this the vaquero. It's covered in cheese sauce and fresh pico de gallo. And vaquero is Spanish for cowboy. Oh, like you said, everything's better with more cheese. Yes, <laughs> and then it, a lot of goodness, a lot of deliciousness out here, but you do have a team behind it, so it doesn't sound like it takes too long to make these happen. No, we can uh, put out a, a very large amount of food in a very short time with the help of a, a giant cooking machine like this. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It sounds like a plan, and I'm ready to dig into one of these, Bree and I. You heard him say it himself. It doesn't take too long, so there's no excuse for you guys to, to not stop by. It looks like there is way too much food right there, and yeah. it's not going to go anywhere, right? No. It's just going to get cold. We'll eat the leftovers. <laughs> yeah, make sure we to bring it back, Sheila. Box it's it up. definitely not going to go to waste. <laughs> I, I plan on eating as much of this as I can. <laughs> thank you, Sheila. If you are